Welcome back to the channel guys, today we are painting French Hussars and this will be the first regiment of Hussars. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future projects. So as with always, first step is get your material together that you're going to need to base your painting on. So I started off with the horses, so I spray painted them black and then gave them a centerful uh, white dry brush. Then I used chocolate brown from Model Color, which I watered down with um, some Flow Improver from Liquitex and some matte medium, and then just applied that over the horses in a sort of contrast style, just nice and quick. Uh, just gave them a nice bit of variation of brown all over. At this stage, I'm not worrying too much. Um, you might want to make it make sure it's a slightly dark brown but not too much. Next we move on to the uniforms of the men themselves. So the first wore a blue uniform and that was top and bottom and so we used magic blue from game color. Uh, please excuse the camera angle I have got an overhead uh, jig on order so hopefully I'm not sure in the next three or four videos it will have arrived um, then you won't have my hand blocking, but yeah, we're just painting the trousers, the main body of the man, and the pelis. I can't pronounce it. I can't remember what it's called. The the jacket that they wore begins with a P, but I can't remember. Uh, yeah, painted it all up with these guys. The collars and cuffs of the uh, jacket were black. So I just left those exposed and just painted the main block of blue. You've got to give it to the French. They did have some very flamboyant colours. Uh, carab uh, the carbines, I used game colour leather brown. And it's just applied that nicely onto the carbines. Horses, I'm not touching again now, more or less till the end they've got their base colour on and that'll do for them. So there's lots and lots of information that you can find, different photos, uh, photos, paintings, pictures uh, online for all the different regiments, so do your research. Then we've got the metal work, so for the sword, the scabbard, and we're just using game colour silver. Again I just water everything down a little bit with flow improver and I find that works nicely. As I've said in other videos, uh, when you're choosing your colours for the smaller scale miniatures, it pays to use a slightly brighter colour than perhaps you ordinarily would. Just because once you put your washes on later, it's going to dull them down. And also on the table, uh, being quite small miniatures, you do want them to stand out. So a little bit of extra colour is your friend. And then there's also the stirrup irons to remember to do when you're painting metalwork. I, I missed one of them out and had to touch it up later on. And again, on the carbines, you have the, the mechanisms and the barrel that need to be done in silver. Um, somehow I, the camera didn't record me painting the flesh on but I use Tamiya Flesh, Flat Flesh. I do like the big Busby style headdress that the Elite companies uh, wore. Anyway, so I make up a dark brown wash, so that's a mixture of brown and black, and then add in the, the Flow Improver and the Matte Medium. Cover the whole thing, let that dry. Then we go back with Magic Blue, just straight up, and just highlight the areas that need it. Uh, because of the xenophil that we've already done, uh, you already have that nice variation between the two, so you don't need to do much at all, just the distinct sort of sharp edges. Next we're going to just touch up all the black areas. And that includes the reins. So go over the cuffs and the collar of the jackets. Uh, go over the reins. Um, if you can see them, you can do the uh, 
stirrup levers and on some of the miniatures they do have a cartouche box on their back so you can just put a bit of black onto that as well I found with the headdresses it's worth just touching up a little bit on the sides because when you do the centerfold it does brighten the head catches a lot of white so just dull it down a little bit back now with black but that is optional it's a personal choice of mine I had a conundrum uh, when I was painting. I was like, do the French have white brow bands for their horses, or would it just be a leather strap? Uh, I was trying to find photos of the horses, but usually it's kind of a man on a horse, but only the midsection without showing the head. Uh, so I know when I was in the, in the cab, we had to white sap the, the, uh, the brow band. I had to be sharp, the distinction between the white area and the black, and you couldn't have black on white or only white on the black. Um, yeah, it was quite a big thing. And so I was just trying to find whatever images I could for and whether they should have a white brow band or not. And then I found one or two photos which just showed black, so I went with that just because it would be easier. But if you know for sure that they should be white, um, please let me know. That's the sort of picture I was talking about, just a man sat on his horse. Uh, so now for the first regiment, they had red facings, or at least in all the images that I found. So do the cuffs in red. That's when you get to these sort of final detail stages that the miniatures, they really start to come alive. I always like to get to this stage. And then most of the regiments had a sash around their midsection, and so for the first, the main colour of it is red, so just make sure you don't miss that out. Then we've got the fun of all of the white belts, and for the first, most of their um, stitching and cordage was in white as well, so you're going to have that fun job. But if you've been painting some of the British with all of their white, then it shouldn't be too much of a trouble for you. But yeah, again, use your very fine detail brush, and just take your time. If you don't quite have enough on your brush, don't try and force it in to try and get a little bit extra off. No, just go and get some more and go again. I, mean, I don't know about you, but I do find painting pretty relaxing and even watching back on myself doing it I find it quite relaxing so pretty more relaxing watching it than painting but both are very nice especially at the end of a long week uh, where <laughs> lots of issues at work and I can just come back put some music on or a film in the background and uh, usually the Battle of Waterloo when I'm painting French and British <laughs> um, and just yeah get the paint out and just enjoy myself for an hour or so. Then for the hooves on the horses I just use game colour bone white. Now it's true not all horses hooves are lighter colour sometimes they're dark uh, they can be black and all sorts but again I do it just for a bit of um, distinction in the colour. Now we highlight the horses I said we'd come back to it so I use game colour leather brown and just water it down with a bit of flow improver. We're not going over the whole thing. With these miniatures, the detail is very good, so you can see the muscles. So just to use your paint and just go over the high areas and just take it nice and easy.
and then we're going to highlight the mains and so we just use a bit of bone white and game color here and just give them a light dry brush just for uh, picking out the detail and then we get to our final stage which is picking out the brass the cap badges and the symbols and I use game color bright bronze for this nice and easy and that's how we get to our miniatures so after all of that I'm very happy with the way they turned out I think they've really picked out what they're supposed to look like and yeah I'm really impressed the miniatures are great quality and I really enjoyed painting them I hope you like the miniatures the way I've done them uh, please leave any comments below and if you haven't already please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos thanks guys take care